Adam Schefter last week was saying not going to take Mac Jones. They're going to take. They're going to take Mac Jones. It was very bold. Seemed a little out of character for Adam Schefter, considering it seems like no one really knows who the Niners are taking. So now he's saying, well, he would still guess that the Niners are taking Mac Jones, but they're open-minded. They're open-minded. They're going to the Justin Fields Pro Day, the second one. They're going to Trey Lance's second Pro Day. And what he said is basically they need to do their (laughs) due diligence. They have to make sure they see all of these quarterbacks. Because if you remember – uh 2017 they didn't spend a lot of time evaluating Patrick Mahomes or Deshaun Watson because they were so focused on signing Kirk Cousins in 2018 that they missed out on two great players so I guess there's two ways you could interpret this news that well three that one is that Adam Schefter has no idea what's going on and he's just making stuff up that's possible two is that the Niners Kyle Shanahan in particular is still set on drafting Mac Jones. He just realizes what an unpopular pick it's going to be. And in an attempt to cover his butt is going to the other pro days, doing his homework saying, yeah, I, I I like Justin Fields. I like Trey Lance. I like all these guys. And I'm going to, I'm going to evaluate them earnestly, carefully, uh, like I didn't do in 2017 with Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson and come to the right decision. So what he could say is, you know, I, I looked at Justin Fields very closely. I like Justin Fields as much as the next guy. I looked at Trey Lance very closely. I like Trey Lance as much as the next guy. It's just that the more that I studied Mac Jones, the more I loved him. So I understand if some fans are a little concerned, but just know that I like these guys too. I just love, love, love Mac Jones. That could be that could be part of it. I could be part of it. Or, or what's happening is, could be, that... Kyle Shanahan and the organization see what an unpopular pick Michael McCorkle Jones would be for the 49ers. And even Kyle, the most confident slash cocky head coach in the league who never buckles to public pressure, always does what he thinks is the smartest thing to do, even if no one else thinks that, is going to fold. It's going to say, you know what? I like Mac Jones. I want Mac Jones. I traded up to get Mac Jones. But even I understand that this is career suicide. No one will appreciate this move. Everyone will pan it. My fans will desert me. My loyal uh, supporters in the media will um, excoriate me. And who knows what the front office and the ownership of my own organization will think of me then. Could lose a lot of power. If Mac Jones doesn't work out, all of a sudden the power could shift to John Lynch. All of a sudden, Jed York could look at Kyle Shanahan a lot differently. Like, dude, you've gotten this wrong how many times? You didn't want Patrick Mahomes. You didn't want Deshaun Watson. You didn't want Tom Brady. But you wanted Mac Jones, and you traded all that, and that's what you got? Okay, well, you know, enough. So maybe even if Kyle, you know, Kyle was the one who wanted Kirk Cousins over Robert Griffin in 2012. Kyle's the kind of guy who goes out in the limb for players. He seems like the kind of guy who would go out in the limb for Mac Jones. Maybe he realizes he just doesn't have the job security or the cachet to pull that off. And maybe he's going to say, you know what? Fine. You guys pick the quarterback. I'll draft him. And if he doesn't work out, it's on you. You know who I wanted. You said I couldn't have him. Fine. You pick the quarterback. You guys are the experts, right? You're the, you get the the scouting department. I trust you. Give me Trey Lance or Justin Fields, even though I'm going to put it in writing that I object. It's not who I want. I wanted Mac Jones but I also want to save my job. So you give me whichever quarterback and if he doesn't work out, it's on you. That could be happening too. Uh, I find it or let me circle back to the original one. Adam Schefter just doesn't freaking know. And the whole open-minded thing is a way of him hedging. I don't know. Uh, But all I'm saying is I'm not the most connected guy in the NFL. I do have some connections. I got some and it's not, I mean, it's all over. And no one that I've talked to has said, I know who the Niners are going to take. No one has said, I don't think anyone knows who the Niners are going to take. That's the beauty of this right now. I don't think Schefter knows. I don't think anyone knows. But I know people in the league who are connected and can guess. And everyone's best guess is the Niners aren't going to take Mac Jones. No one really thinks they're going to do it. They could do it. But everyone's like, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. That's a guess. But I think it's... 
you know, I think it's interesting that that's the, the guess I'm hearing from multiple people across the league in different cities and different markets. There's no way they take Mac Jones, right? 